another abject display and the end of the season just gets bleaker and bleaker. We've lost to another team we should have won against, Brighton this time, and well deserved. They were much better than we were, especially in the first half. Second half we improved, but not nowhere near enough. And we didn't go for it until Erdegaard's goal got us back into it momentarily before the final whistle blew. Really upsetting. It's still affecting me, although I'm doing this two days later. It's just... Ugh. We've lost 10 games now. And we've still got to play Chelsea. We've still got to play Man United. We've still got to play West Ham and even Tottenham. And top four just looks harder and harder to attain. Of course we can still do it. Spurs can lose a couple of games and we can capitalise. In theory, I shouldn't be too upset. But I am. Because we were promised so much. The players were really strutting their stuff on the pitch. We were playing really well. And then Palace brought us all back down to earth. I thought, OK, it was a blip. Maybe we can go again. I was actually at the game as well, which is makes it worse. But then we just didn't. We just didn't turn up. I can't understand why. I'm pretty sure Mikel Arteta asked for urgency and attacking football and for us to go at Brighton, and we just didn't. Against a team that, don't, that have lost six out of their last seven games, and even that, that they didn't lose, was a nil-nil draw against Norwich. It's not good enough. With Man United losing today uh, on Saturday, this was an opportunity to make sure it's a two-way fight between us and Tottenham. But now, we're only three points ahead of Man United and West Ham. And that hurts, you know. But hey, we've got games in hand. We can still do it. I don't think either of those teams will get it. But it, I just don't trust that we can beat anyone right now. With a loss against Brighton at home... Just really demoralising. We have to come back with a win over Southampton and go to Chelsea with fight and passion. Most importantly, not lose. <clears throat> That'd be huge. If we can just beat Chelsea, beat Manchester United and not lose to West Ham. If we can beat, if we can get seven points out of our next three games, top four, I, I'll start to believe again. Spurs still got to go to Liverpool. And that is not going to be easy. They'll probably lose that. But it's just... It was so slow. It was so boring. All the fans were getting frustrated. And we just didn't turn up. We just weren't good enough. And fair play to Brighton. They've got Spurs next. So hopefully they do us a favour. But I can't see it. Spurs have got pro Lacazette, man. And Katia deserves to start at head of Lacazette. Pepe deserves to start there. Smith Rowe. We've got so many players that should be playing. Instead, we're perf we're persisting with an out of form 30 year old who is leaving for free at the end of the season. Why? I have no idea. He's terrible. He doesn't get involved. He can't score. He can't run. He doesn't chase the ball. People say about his work ethic. Where was that chasing when we needed it the most? And he doesn't run with the ball. He doesn't cross. He doesn't. He hasn't got a presence in the penalty box. And when Nketiah came on, we looked better. Although he did miss a pretty much an open goal. I have to say, Erdegaard's goal was a lovely goal. Although it did take deflection from Danny Welbeck, it was still a great shot. But yeah, let's get into the player ratings. Ramsdale in goal. Uh, I think he could have done better with the second goal, but I'm not going to be too critical. I'll give him a six. He was okay. Um, Gabriel and White, really poor at bringing the ball out, which is shocking to say because they're usually really good at it. And they didn't really cover themselves in glory defensively either, so I'll give them both a five. I don't think they were very good at all. Cedric was constantly exposed down the left side. And didn't do much going forward either, so I give him a five as well. Uh, Granite Xhaka at left back was actually one of our better players. He was trying to get us forward, but just the players were just not doing it. I'll give him a seven. I thought Xhaka was okay. I thought Xhaka was pretty good. Lekonga 
did really well in the second half. First half, he went a bit missing, but I'll give him a six. I don't think he was too bad. Uh, and then Erdogan Smith were in front of him, pretty ineffective until Erdogan's goal. Until the last 20 minutes, Erdogan started to play. I'll give him a six. I think he was okay, but nothing special. Uh, Smith Rowe was really, really off the off the pace. When he did try and get on the ball, he kept being crowded out. And he, for me, he has to play on the left. Just take Lacazette out of the team. Put Martinelli up front and Smith on the left. That's what I would do. But who am I to question the infinite wisdom of Mikel Arteta? Honestly. But Smith, I give a four. I think he was really, really poor. Um, maybe Gap, maybe Ben White, I'd give a four to his. Nah, ben White was okay. He won a few balls in the air, but on the ground was where he struggled. Gabriel Martinelli was probably our best player. I'll give him a seven. Scored, but that VAR check took a whole four bloody minutes to complete. I don't know why that took so long, but you never, you know, these things happen. And it was offside, so they got to the right decision in the end. And then, Pe- uh, not Pepe, Saka, pretty ineffective, but was really tightly marked by Cucurella. I'll give Saka a five. I don't think he was very good. But at least he was trying. He, he slipped a few times at crucial moments. We could have got a goal back, but then he slipped. Oh, sorry, that's the phone going. Uh, he slipped when he had a chance to pull it back for somebody or cross it across the box. And that could have been the leveller. But, you know. It's all in the past now, isn't it? We've got to look forward. Uh, Lacazette, can't say he did well, as I've already touched on, was... Really, really poor. Give him four as well. Massively ineffective. Didn't run, didn't chase down, and was really ineffective. Now, I'd like to see him be dropped for the next few games. So, where does that leave us? Fifth place with a game in hand on Spurs, and we've got to go there. We can still do it. Of course, we can. There's no need to be so upset, but the fact that we could potentially lose as many games as we did last season. It's quite disturbing. Uh, we've still got to play Chelsea, which I don't see us winning. Man United, I think we can be. I'm not too worried about West Ham. But, you know, United can turn it on. On a good day, Manchester United can be really, really good. We haven't seen that at all this season. But they finished second last season. That tells you everything you need to know. Of course, they've been terrible this season. I can't. They they should be ashamed of themselves. But it's hard to celebrate United being bad when you've got Arsenal playing like this. Uh, I will see you uh, on Sunday after the Southampton game. Uh, hopefully, we win that. But I wouldn't put my horse. I wouldn't bet on it. But you know, these things happen. I've got to move on. We've got to move on, Arsenal. Let's go again. We are still not out of this. Goodbye.